Right, so I'm going to tip the ears, top third of the ears, the number 10, inside and out. Just top third, on both sides. And then just scissor around the edge nice and tight. So you get a nice tip of the ear. Stand up. Good boy. So you're just tipping the ear, you've got a nice top third there. And then we've got to make sure that the head is fully come through before we start to do any scissoring. Sorry. Fully comb it through. And so the next part is to get all this eyebrow trimmed. So I scissor from outside corner of eye over to outside corner of eye. I use my big scissors to do this. Make sure that you've got all them hairs. Come it again, make sure that you've got all them little bits. Forward. This is rough any bits that you've missed. Remember to now keep a nice grip of him whilst you're doing this. These little bits in front of his eyes, these need to come out quite close so that he can see. Remember always, aim your scissors away from your eyes and never blow the hair into the eyes either. And comb again, just to make sure that you've got all them bits off. What we're wanting to see is a nice straight line from outside corner to outside corner. So we've got a little bit there and a little bit just on the end there. Okay, so once you've done that, that might be a little bit long way. Take it all back and anything overhanging that clipped edge needs to come off. So you can do that with your thinners or with your chunkers or with your scissors. I'm going to do it with chunkers just to take off that edge. Just so that it blends in with your clipped edge and it doesn't look like it's been stuck on. And then part it down the middle. And then we want a nice round, wisty head to make it look like a chrysanthemum. So we're following the shape that we've already got. But obviously we need to take it a lot shorter. Make sure the mouth's closed at this point. Don't want any tongues being chopped off. Again, comb it just to make sure that you've got all your little bits from underneath. And then I'll continue this to the tip of the ear where I've already clipped. Now you need to make sure that the same length on the front as on the back. So double your ear over and just make sure that it's all the same length either side. Again, keep combing, just to make sure that you've got all your bits off. When he holds his ear up, he should have a nice round edge. We've still got a little bit at the back of that ear. Let me get rid of that. So you should have a nice round edge. So we'll do the same on the other side. Okay. 
And they go to the base of the ear when you're scissoring because you can't hold that ear. So if he flicks it, then you're going to cut it. So I'll carry on from the base of the ear up to the tip where you've already clipped. And this is a tight, double your ear over. Make sure that it's the same length on both sides. Again, comb it just to make sure that you've got all them little ends off. Make sure that underneath is the same length. Now we've got to make sure that both sides are the same length as well. So it's just a matter of always checking. Now I can see that this side is slightly longer so I'll just take off them little ends. And then, once you've got your nice round shape, I flick it all round. And then we look at what we've got and these side bits are too long and the top of the head's too long so i'm going to get my chunkers just get it between my fingers and round that off in a nice round shape the westy head should be nice and round we we'll take off the top bit as well between my fingers make sure the ears are out of the way so you take off as much or as little as you like the other side oh boy. click it all up again see what we've got And there you have a nice little round head.